help us understand when you say our heroes <laughs> and we're talking about the students to give us a little more about what that means in the acting context so within the context you know there's the great story about the hero's journey you know joseph campbell speaks at length about it and having this journey where you're basically on this circular path that continues to evolve throughout your life and there's always that first call that you make which is your call to adventure you know come on join us come see what we have to offer and then there's this place we call i call it three o'clock on our clock at three o'clock we have to choose to kind of separate from everything that we've known to embark on this new journey that we don't always know how it might end mm. because the beauty's in the journey. And so because life is, is cyclical and circular like that, the learning in, the, in our studios is exactly like that. Mm. You look at when they come in, we've got these timetables that we can measure, you know, when they come in with wide eyes, they're so excited, they're so happy. Then about six weeks in, they're like, oh, wait, wait, what? Like, <laughs> wait, what do you mean I can't just come tell you, uh, uh, you know, tell you that my neighbor is has a messy desk and it's going on to my desk? What do you mean you, the adult, aren't going to solve that problem? Mm -hmm. So then it comes from separating from how things have always been done for them and them learning and harnessing what their reality, what their world really is for them. And so we try to just be that coach, you know, mm. we don't have the teacher mindset. We have that guide mindset of, you know, this is going to be a really hard moment. What are some things you can do to prepare? We might talk to them as if they're a coach, encourage when, when times, when they're kind of going around on their journey and mm. they hit a wall where they're faced with like, am I a victim? you know, is it because everybody else is loud or is it because I'm also loud? Mm. You know, why, why am I not able to move forward? What is, what am I, what are my distractions for myself? Mm. So being able to identify with a story, storytelling is important for us. So being able to identify with the story that follows the story arc and that we can align it to their own journey, mm. then it allows us to also take so many great representations from the world you know, I was just learned about this, this other book about how there's writing in movies uh, mm. based on the hero's journey. And I was just heard a heard a national speaker about the talking about movies and, and the hero's journey. And I thought, you know, this is a great way for us, us to also illustrate to our learners, hey, here's what the journey looks like. Remember when it got really hard in this part, you know, mm. remember in the Avengers, remember in you know, in Batman, remember when this part got really, really hard, but then what comes next? Mm -hmm. And you're mm -hmm. just at the cusp of that. So that allows us those moments to kind of intervene. So they don't just put, I always say, do you have your concrete shoes on? Mm -hmm. They don't just put their feet in the concrete and stay in that one place, but they know that they can move on to that next stage. Mm -hmm. When they know about that, they're better able to prepare for the journey that lies ahead. So imagine having this from the age of five or six, you're having these discussions. So now all of a sudden, now you're a teenager. You know, as a teenager, you're still going to get to the other side. You're still going to go back to 12 o'clock. You know, mm -hmm. you're still going to go back to that spot on the dial. And so it's hard as a teenager. Well, guess what? Now it's hard. You're trying to figure out what you want to do with the rest of your life. That's hard. But always know you're going to come back to 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And I think that that gives, that gives like hope. It helps develop resilience because they know what to expect, that this is literally a pattern that's going to repeat mm -hmm. until, until the end. And so we like aligning to that story because they are their own hero in their own story. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, we're being raised by our families, but they write what that story looks like. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're just happy to be a participant, whether we're their parent or whether we're their, their guide or an advisor or a coach for hockey or baseball or soccer, you know, we're a part of that adventure. And so mm -hmm. when they own it, it, it helps them, I think, buy into 
the decisions that they make for themselves. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.